Hey there, thanks for joining me for coloring. Today, we are going to be coloring this um, penny black image called Lustrous. And we're gonna be doing this little flower here. And I put a link to all this stuff down in the description box if you would like to pick anything up and um, try this again later. So that's all down there in the bottom. So let's go ahead, we're gonna give everybody a couple of minutes to show up. So let's go ahead and look at what we're gonna do next week. Let me move some of my stuff here. All right, so next week we are going to be doing this card kit. It's called Poppy. Um, I'll put, um, if you head over to the store, it's on the scroll bar at the top of the screen. So, hi Julie, thanks for joining me. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing this one next week. Um, it is a card kit, so if you'd like to pick this up, you're gonna have to go over to the store and grab one. There are four left, so if you wanna go ahead and get that, it is still available in the store. And then the next week, we are going to do this Moe's digital pencil image called Leprechaun Lass. Isn't she adorable? And on this one, I used um, one of my fluorescent greens that I've never used before. So that's kind of exciting. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining us. So something new. I tried out a new color. So that's kind of exciting. You know, I never do that. And I'm really loving her little freckles. We're going to do this tonight with the, when I go to have card class with the girls here in the local, the local girls, we're going to color this. They wanted to do a St. Patrick's Day one. Okay. And then the following week, we're going to do this one. So isn't she cute? And this is a card kit too. So if you want to grab her, you have to go over to the store and pick her up. And there's only one left. So if you love her, you better go grab her up. And this one, this time I changed it up. So you're going to get the the card kit but you're going to make three different cards so each one of the card fronts will be different you're just going to use the same girl but each one's going to be different and the girl comes with a little sentiment so you get the stamp and a little sentiment even though i didn't use that and you can find all these classes over on the store blog and there's a link to the store blog down at the bottom of the description box if you head way down at the bottom you'll find that down there and there's a little tab at the top of the store blog that says classes and you will be able to look to see what we're doing in the future. So if case you want to color along like card kits, you can go over there and grab them before class. So on my colored pencils, I have this little chart. It's eight and a half by 11 that I've colored all the colors on. So I know exactly what color they are. And I use this, let me zoom back up, this pencil holder. So if you guys want, I can put a link to this. I don't think I linked this down at the bottom, but I'll put a link after class down in the thing that I keep all my Prisma pencils in. And I keep my Faber-Castell pencils in one of these. And I'm going to get some more because I really like them. You just stick them in there and you can take it with you. But that's how I store them. And I recommend if you have pencils, you make a little chart because then you know exactly what color you're going to get. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining us. So we're gonna work on this. So let me move some of my stuff here. And of course, as I was searching for everything today, I um, could not find my list. So I went over to the store blog and there's a pin card at the bottom of every post. Let me go back up. That looks not like this, but it's a colored one. And you can pin it to your Pinterest board or you can save the picture till later, but it's got a picture of the card or whatever it is. And then over here is gonna be a list of all the colors. So if this was a Copic color card, it would say Copic colors up here and then you'd have a big list over here of everything I used. So kind of um, convenient. I just printed mine out on my black and white printer because I needed to have this because I lost my little written one. I don't know what I did with it. I'm assuming I threw it away. So we're gonna do this today. So let me go ahead and grab that. So first off, I have these little words. So let's go ahead and do those first. I'll grab some glue. That way they can be drying. So I went ahead and cut out, I wanted them to kind of pop up a little bit and not have to cut out a bunch of pop dots. So I did two. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue them together. That way they can be all dry. And if I was smart, I would have ran them through my Xyron little sticker machine. And then that would have done 
the thing on here. Oh, wait one second. And click. I turned the music on. We now have music, so in case I'm not talking, you can listen to that. And I forgot to push the button. I did push play. Just not go actually do something. So we're going to put this together. But this gives it a little dimension, and it fits perfectly behind here instead of trying to trim out little pop dots that stick on here because those are kind of a pain. Okay, so let's add a little bit more. My arm didn't vibrate that time, Mr. Hobby Haven. It only, good thing I have the phone on because I seen it scroll up. Okay, then we're gonna put this on here. But on mine, I kind of offset it. So I'm gonna make it so you can see the purple part in the back. Okay, let's set it down, give it a little smishing. Like that. Oh, still no music. Okay, let me go look. Put this glue away. Technical difficulties, let me go check. Um, it says it's unmuted, so evidently I need to push play. Maybe that. Okay, how about that? <laughs> All right, so I push play. Let me, oh, let me go look over here. Oh, it says there's something. Okay, good. <laughs> Technical. All right, so we're going to go with that. And then we'll just set this over here on the side. And I probably got glue everywhere on the back. We'll just set this over here to dry. So I got my little list here. So for my card front, I'm going to take this out. Um, I stamped my image with some um, <sighs> Brilliance moon i want to say it's moonstruck some kind of white ink so if you whatever kind of white ink you have i just use it to stamp and my whole idea is to color it with colored pencils and then leave a little bit of white around the outside so that you can kind of it kind of outlines it a little bit that is my big idea for today so let's go ahead and do um still technical difficulties with the music Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, I bumped it up to up five points, whatever that means. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what that means? <laughs> All right. So for our colors today, we're going to use, well, these colors. Oh, in case you want to get those out or use those later this is what we're going to use remember you can go get a pin card over at the store blog underneath the post so i always try to put that at the bottom so that everybody knows what colors we're going to use so i'm going to go ahead and do the purple parts first so let's go ahead and start with 132 uh, maybe i should go no let's go with 132 okay so we're going to do these little things over here first so I'm going to go, and I kind of go in little circles. And this is, and I don't press very hard. And we're just gonna add a little bit. One thing about pencils too, is you don't have to, you can do all one color and then um, come back. Unlike Copics that you should probably just work along as you're going, you need to do, um, let's zoom down a little bit more. Okay, let's see how close that is. <laughs> Maybe really close. Okay, so now we're going to do um, my little flower. So let's start over here on this one. So this one we're going to go, and this was the stamp is um, a solid stamp. So it's kind of hard. You're going to have to kind of guess. I tried to give it a little bit of extra smooshing so that it would leave, like you'll leave a little line. Like right here, this is the next leaf right here. Uh, 
or the next petal. But there's a little bit of a line right there. And then right here, there was a little leaf, but I left that off when I did the coloring. So just so you know, that's I'm not going to put that on there. But there was a leaf there. I can see it just a little bit. I just made this go clear down like this. And then we'll go continue over here. I'm just trying to get an outline of where my petals are first. Because it's really hard to see where they stamped. It's going to have a cool effect. But I need to kind of have some kind of general idea. Okay, and then this one we'll go with right here. And then this is a leaf, and then we've got this little bit of a flower petal right here. And then also, this is a leaf, but there's also a little bit of flower petal right here. Are you back again? I already turned it up. Oh, it still up there. Mm, okay, well. It's not playing. It, well, I pushed the play button. Uh-oh, technical difficulties. Yeah, it says play. Do I need to push this? No, it's playing now. I know, but I pushed play and it was playing before. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll watch it. Okay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows if the music is working? Stupid thing. Oh. All these technical things. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Esme. Thanks for joining me. All right, so we're going to move on to number 107. Okay, so let's do these little bitty ones here first. So little bitty ones, we're going to go... I go right over the top of my previous color. And we're going to add a little bit more. And we're just going to work our way around on our flower. And since this one is way in the back, I'm going to color that one in. And let's color this one. How come we're having to turn the music up so much louder than it was last time? Do I have different music on? Okay, let's try that. Here. And this one, let's go ahead and outline this petal underneath so that we'll have our little white line there. And I'll probably have to go back over that with my white pencil. So I'll have to get that out. Because I probably should have given it a little bit more pressure when I stamp the stamp, and then the line would be a little bit better, but I didn't. So we'll just go with a little bit more we'll do some white pencil afterwards or you could use your jelly roll pencil it's 
Oh, we've reached the optimum whatever we need for the music. Okay, good. <laughs> now watch the next song come on and it'll be blasting. Hmm. Okay. Then we're going to add the next color. So our next color is 1008, which is Perma Violet. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining us. So I'm going to add some to these little petals down here, the little buds. And I'm going to go over the last two colors and add this one so that I have a little bit of different color out here at the end. And then we'll add some to our petals. I'm not putting any, I'm not hardly using any pressure. I'm just kind of rubbing the pencil around on top of the paper. I'm not like giving it the death grip. If your knuckles are turning white, that's too much. You need to, <laughs> and I find to help me with that, if I hold the pencil back more, back here more in the back, I can't grip it as hard. Because I tend to get a little bit crazy with my gripping. All right, so we're also going to go now, we're going to go with 956, which is lilac. And we're going to fill it in. So I still go over all these other colors in the back. Pencil's got some. I'm waiting for this one here. Looks like a little iffy, so I'm thinking that maybe it's going to break soon. When I sharpened it, it, it just looks kind of wimpy. And I have some of my colored pencils or my Prisma pencils that do that. They just, they don't love me. But it's okay. Uh-oh, here comes Mr. Hobby Haven. Obviously, I'm not doing something right. Would you like me to turn it off? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see my crustiness today. <laughs> Heck, why does it keep shutting up? I don't know what's on. Mr. Hobby Haven. <laughs> down a little bit more. Okay, turn it down more. It was down on like 35. Yeah, I, I did something. Nope. I must have clicked something when I <laughs> between the last the Bible journaling earlier and now I messed up something all right so we got all of our colors there I'm gonna get my white pencil out before I forget about it um, 
Okay, will you get my white pencil off my desk? So I don't have my white pencil. Mr. Hobby Haven's going to grab that for me because I'm using it to color my box of chocolates. I'm currently coloring a box of chocolates. And so it's sitting on my desk. I didn't put any of those pencils away. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to... Thanks. No, not these. Oh, that's fine. I don't want them. I know I want to. Oh, see all these pencils I was using for the box of chocolates? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. All right, so we got music. Thanks, Esme. Music check, check, check. Is it working now? <laughs> now I'm gonna be worried about this, the stupid music for the next five minutes, 12 years here. Let's see. Oh, it says it's still playing. Okay. So, let me blow this off. <laughs> so how I got the white on here was I used um, a white stamp pad. So I think it was um, Brilliance, I want to call it Moonstruck. There should be a link down in the description box to whichever one I use. So <laughs> yay, it's working. <laughs> so that's how I got it on here. I stamped the, the image. It's a stamp and I stamped the image on there with the white ink. I thought we'd try something different. That was the same. Oh. See, I have all these little notices that go off. I have notices on my watch, and I have notices on my phone, and I, oh. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with our dark color again. So I'm gonna go down here to my little buds. And I'm gonna make some little circles. And we're gonna darken it up. Oh no, Esme, I cheated. I, I stamped that right on there. <laughs> I'm still learning how to, like with the box of chocolates, I was, I had to learn how to draw the image on there. That's a lot of work. Colored pencils are really a lot of work. In my personal opinion. Copics, you just put them on there. They're quick, you know, <laughs> compared to this. Uh, we're branching out. We're supposed to be learning some new things. So I'm learning how to use my colored pencils better. So if I keep practicing, I'm always telling people, you got to practice. It doesn't just happen. If you keep practicing, I'm bound to get better. Nothing is instant. As much as I'd like to be like that Matrix guy where you just plug in and in two seconds you have the answer and you know how to be an expert, we don't have that. So we have to practice. Um, Linda, does the it does kind of it has a little it's got a little bit of a texture, but after you you the white Linda's asking if the white leaves the texture on the paper. So this it is a little bit scratchy, but the more I fill it in, it will. And I'm not going to use any this time. I'm not going to use any um, gamma saw. We're just going to leave it because I wasn't sure how the gamma saw would react with this this 
ink or with my stamping. So we're just going to leave it all sketchy. When we get done, the leaves are still going to be all pencil-y looking so that they're not um, smooth. Or I could too do um, burnishing and I could do it so that it, it will be flat. You could also use your paper stump and you could make um, do it that way too to make it a little bit flatter if you like. But I didn't mind the sketchy look. And Esme, yes, I'm doing the one that Shel Sheldine did. <laughs> Hers looks so nice. <laughs> Mine is not looking that fabulous, that box of chocolates. But it's okay. Practicing. I'm practicing. I love how everybody's posted their pictures of the cho box of chocolates they're working on. And they all look so good. Yeah, the stamp, when I stamped it, it's kind of, because it's a background stamp, it, it covers the whole area. It's got kind of like, the stamp itself had texture on it. It, it wasn't like completely flat. It was kind of groovy. Had some grooves and stuff in it. Okay, now we're going to use our 106, or no, 108. I need to, I can't see very well. That's one thing I don't like about these pencils is I can't read the numbers very well. I think it's just because it's in the gold, the gold color. So it's kind of hard to read. I have to adjust my bike vocal just right. continue adding layers and this will swoosh everything together um, last week Gamma Saw works best. I used it last week just on um, craft cardstock, but I don't get the paper like super wet. I just use a little bit to um, move the the pencils around enough to to melt them a little bit and mush them down so they cover in the little texture from the paper and my little lines don't show up. But if you really want to do it, you should probably use some watercolor paper if you're going to add extra solvent. I'm new to all that, so we've been using... I see a lot of people use the watercolor paper, and I've been using it in my Canson mixed media journal thing, and it seems to work pretty good on that. I also tried some um, Canson pastel paper, my tints, my t my tint. I don't know what it's called. It's hard to pronounce, but it works really good. It's like a got like sanded paper, so it's got like a little texture. So you just literally take the pencil and kind of lightly scrub over the top of it, and ta-da! You have this wonderful color. Yes, if you girls haven't checked out Sheldine's channel, she has. Um, she does colored pencils all the time, so she's really good. So Mike's put a link up there on the screen if you want to go check it out. I'm learning bunches of stuff over there. And she has live classes too. She does awesome job. 
And she has lots of people that show up and chat all the time. I like to go over there and hang out when I when I see she's online. Oh, Red Redbox has a movie night. You can get a, a, you can get time you can get a percentage off. That's my latest pop up on my my watch. We just watched um well I should say I just watched Wonder. If you girls haven't watched that, it's really good. It's got a little boy on there that's was born with his face messed up and so he's had bunches of surgery and he has to start school and it's really good I made Lexi watch it with me and it was a great it's kind of a great lesson for um she's only five so a great lesson on bullying and how little kids how children treat other children when it's not their fault that they have these issues so I really liked it Mm. There you go, Esme's got it. My tints. <laughs> touch, tech. I think it's is it touch in the US and tech in the in the UK. But I really liked it. Only thing I don't I need to evidently I don't know if it comes in a smaller pad. Mine's in like this giant nine by twelve pad, so I'm kinda I wish it was more in like a notebook size so that you could I'm gonna have to look around so that you could keep things in there in a spiral bound notebook and then look at them later. <laughs> so you can see your progress. I want to see my progress. after it's white there. I got crazy with my pencil and running all the lines. But it's really good paper. If you guys haven't tried those sanded paper, it's really good. I really liked it. I guess I could always, too, cut it out and then um, tape it into my journal thing. That would work. Because of course it's cheaper to buy it in this giant paper size. my white pencil here and see if we can put some of these little lines back on. Thinking that maybe that's not going to work very well. So maybe we'll go with that didn't work. 
go with maybe my jelly roll pin here. And jelly roll pins, if you kind of rub it on your finger first and get it started, it warms up the end and then it tends to work a little bit better. I'll watch this one make a liar out of me and it won't work at all. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, of course it's not working. Okay, then let's try it. Okay, it's not loving the paper that much. I'm not loving this jelly roll pen. This this thing sucks. That that's just that's no good. Okay, let's try this one. This is a Sharpie paint pen. That was ridiculous. Okay, let's try that one. Let's put a little bit right here. Okay, let's go with that. And with your paint pen, you don't want to push down really hard because it will make a big old huge blob. <laughs> I think it's because, I think Esme, it didn't work because I colored over the lines with the colored pencil and it didn't like the wax. So, but I don't really like those jelly roll pins. They're not, I don't love them. I don't know. It just, it's not my favorite thing. Okay, so now we're going to use black. And for my black, these little flowers here had a little thing at the end. So I'm just going to give them a little extra V right on top of the white line. So I'm going to leave the white line and then do the little black section. Like that. And then we're going to move to green. Yeah, the jelly roll pin did not like the wax on the paper. It didn't like that. It works fine if you're just coloring straight on a line. That works good, but this was not so good. Okay, let's go up here and start up here in the top. And we're going to start with 908, which is dark green. And this little flower right here, this was supposed to be, at least on the picture on the packaging, it had leaves and then part of this up here was flower, but I'm going to make mine closed. This whole thing's going to be green because like, there's, I couldn't stamp it good enough to make it so that I could see where the little, because I think like this little section right here was supposed to be a bud. And then, but it's got a leaf right here. And then maybe this little bitty section was supposed to be bud, but we're just gonna make it all a leaf. Hi, Sonia. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> they are little baby birds opening their mouth, a little, the little buds down here. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this leaf. So let's go, and remember, I'm gonna try to leave white on the edge. So I'm gonna try to be nice. Because the whole idea is not to use your my paint pen or any of that other stuff. I want to leave the 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 um, stamping on there as the outline. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this out a little bit. And then when I get done, I'm gonna put these little vines in here. So we'll get to that too. We're just going to move our way along here. Okay, this one goes. I have it different on mine. I think I made this. Let me see. 
Yeah, this, I think this pedal came over like this. On my original, on my original card it doesn't. I have it going... Like, this is a little skinny one, and then it's got this one, but we're gonna kind of switch it up here, because I'm seeing now that when I stamped, this one stamped a little bit different, so I can see a little bit of this outline right here. It's all in how you stamp it. And I tried to put, when I put the little stamp pad on there, I tried to um, kind of glob more ink on the edges. I guess that's a good word for it, glob it on there. So that it kind of made an impression on the sections. Make them stick out a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let's try that one. Let's go down here and do. Let's go down here and do this one. So, like in this one, I gave it a. I got really good. I got a really good coverage with my white ink on this one. So I must have used a little bit more texture. Or pressure on it when I stamped it down. I should probably try to do um, like some watercoloring. Like you just put the watercolors on there and then you spritz it with some some water and then stamp it down. That would probably be really cool. All right, so now we're gonna do 911. So this little car, this little um, image is a penny black image. It's not a kit. So, um, but I did put a link down in the description box if you want to pick one up. And I don't have any more in the store, so I put a link to somewhere else. And the ink pads and all that stuff if you need that. And pencils. I'm definitely going to be trying to use my pencils more in the classes. So if you girls want to color along, you should grab some up and then you could color too. Okay, so let's do on this stem, let's bring this down. Oops, I'm going to try to keep it in the middle. This one over here is really dinky. So let's see what we can do over here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go right in the middle of that one. Don't forget, girls, next week we're going to be doing the poppy card kit. So if you haven't picked that up, make sure to go over and grab one up. Okay, and then we're going to add, what's this? Um, 120. cover these in pretty much so we're not going to need too much of that okay so we're going to start over so again let's go with 908 and we're going to add this back on
Maybe a little bit on these stems down here. And then we'll go to a medium one, which is 911. As I'm coloring it too, I try to rotate my pencil around. So I'll do a few little strokes and then I turn my pencil like a quarter of a turn so that it keeps the pencil in sharper longer. That works good for me. Okay, right, now I'm gonna come back with my dark one, which was 908, and I'm gonna sharpen it. Let's sharpen it first. The Prisma pencils, um, Sony's asking me if the Prisma pencils are my favorite. Um, these are the ones I use the most because they are, they're pretty widely available and I feel that they're not, they're good pencils. I like them, but I feel that they're affordable for most everyone because the, you, I bought a, some over Christmas that were like $50 for a new packet. I, that's the only reason I bought them is because they were half off. So for less than a hundred dollars, you can get 150 colored pencils and that's a lot. So I would recommend them um, just for anything. I have a bunch of other color pencils and I have a huge list now thanks to Sheldine that <laughs> I would like to purchase. But these are great. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do two. I want to do this little stem. <sighs> this little stem. Oh, and two, when you get your little pieces that break off in there, I know I automatically wanted to go like this and brush it off. Don't do that. Because if you move it around on the paper, that little bit will make little lines everywhere. So you want to make sure to brush it off with a soft brush or use, um, blow it off. Don't move it with your finger. Because I've done that. <laughs> it's like, oh great, I got a big green mark over here now. Okay, and so there were some little lines in here on this leaf. I'm pretty sure this is not where they were but I'm just gonna put some on there. Cause that one had a few. And then I wanna go back and I want to outline these. So we've got a really dark spot right on the edge. Let's go ahead and get down here at the bottom. Well, let's work right here. Let's work our way this way. <laughs> yeah, Pam Pastels. Esme's gonna get Pam Pastels because Shell says that she's using those. I know, they're on my list too. It's not good. <laughs> Whoops, and it looks like this flower here, I maybe there was a leaf right here, but I didn't col I colored it over. So there's not gonna be a leaf there now. See how I am? I didn't see it there when I was coloring the flower leaf, the petal, but evidently there was one there. Let's 
So you got to kind of, and the stamp packaging comes with um, a picture. <laughs> so make sure not to throw that away. If you happen to have, um, like I take all my stamps out and I put them into a, um, a sleeve. I have like little envelopes like, that I put them in and then I label them. So if you take yours out, make sure to save. I always save if it comes with a picture. I always make sure to save the picture so that I, especially if they're really, if they're colored, then you can kind of look to those as reference as to what, how the person who made the stamp or somebody colored the image for you. So we're going to go clear down here. Whoops, let me move the thing here. Clear down here to the bottom. As I take my stamps out of the original packaging and put them into a stamp envelope. I don't have them in the little plastic thing they came in because I tend to rip that. I get too, too mean with it. We'll have to do something um, with some Pam Pastels someday. I'm going to have to practice some more though, and they're kind of messy. I did them wrong the last time I used them, so I need to practice some more. I have to put that on my list. this giant leaf right here. This giant leaf, I'm going to say that this back side is the darkest over here. some leaves, stems that go down like this. Let's draw some of those on so I don't lose them. Okay. Alright, so then we're going to switch to our medium one, which was 9-11. And we're going to add those on. leaf right here has some little vines, little veins in it too. Let's go ahead and add those on too before I forget. And then we're going to go with 1096. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Hoping Lexi did not give me her cough. Still got this ridiculous cough. What is it with coughs? You get one and it like stays for like forever. And this one is 120. They like hang on for like an eternity. Alright, then we're going to start over. I'm going to sharpen my dark green pencil again. Because I like my pencils to be like super duper sharp. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just like them to be that one. Okay, so we're going to start with this darker green one, the dark green one first. And we're going to add a second coat. And then we'll go with 911. And we'll come back and put that little um, veining in afterwards. So don't worry about that. Okay, this leaf up here looks like it needs something. I don't know. Let's try. Let's add this 9, 1096. I don't think I went out far enough up here. Okay, so then I'm going to come in with my 10 or my 908, and we're going to put some of these line, dark lines back in. So let's go. I'm thinking that I'm going to bring this out just a little bit more. This is where your little, sh where your really sharp pencil comes in handy. So if you have it sharpened up really good, you can get into these little bitty spots.
I have to sharpen my pencil again. It's losing its little pointy thing. Okay, so let me zoom up. And that is our card. So let's go ahead and cut this out. Actually, let's go, yeah, let's cut it out first. I'm gonna blow it off. Remember, don't um, brush things off with your hand because if you do you will leave um, the um, marks on your page. So you want to make sure to blow it off or use a really soft a brush in there. Actually my daughter's texting me 200 miles a minute here. Okay <laughs> so let's do I'm gonna leave a little bit of an outline so let's go ahead and I thought it'd be cool to do this little, so it looks, so you can see the inside of the card. So we're gonna cut this. Hopefully we don't cut the flower off. That would be, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Entertainment on Heather's channel, she cut it off. So we're going to go around all of this stuff. Ooh, that was close. So yeah, I must chopped off that leaf. too I think this time when I stamp my little my image I think this is peanut cluster paper that I picked and when I stamp the original card it is um, craft cardstock so it's just a little bit different color this is like a oh mud <laughs> it's a little bit different brown Oh, my finger's stuck. Okay, let's not get crazy up here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this little section off right here because it's driving me crazy. Okay, continuing. Okay, so we're gonna go around all of this. Carefully. We don't wanna cut off all of our junk here. Okay, we'll go around like here. Okay, and then where this little flower comes out up here, I'm just gonna go like this. 
If it gets us so sharp right here, I'm going to kind of trim it so it kind of floats around the corner there. If that makes sense. Okay. That. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yay! I didn't cut anything off. Okay, let's mush that down. Okay, so then I picked this purple cardstock to go with my flowers. So we're going to stick that inside. And I'm going to use... I'm going to have the textured side be up. So let's put some glue. I forgot my tape runner. So today we're going to have glue, which is fine. It works. And this is this Tombow adhesive is really good, so it'll probably stick down better than the other kind. in here and hopefully I trimmed it off uh oh and see with the liquid glue too you can always move it around I kind of like that there because it fit I was too far up if I would put the tape runner that wouldn't have fit on there you can kind of fiddle with it a little bit And I cut this one perfect this time. Let me see. Yep. Mm, good job, Heather. So we got... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi, Grace of Life. Norway. Ooh, that's a ways. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. All right, so we got this. There's our little piece in the back there. So we got our piece that we did earlier. Remember this was three pieces. I had the, the purple one and then two white ones. And so I stacked them up so I wouldn't have to mess with the um, the pop dots because this is kind of dinky. So don't forget girls that if you have a suggestion of something you want to do to um, Put it in the comments after the video posts and I will write it down and see what I can do. And I'm willing to try new things. If I have the supplies, I'm willing to give it a go. I don't mind looking silly. Or if it turns out like crap, you know, it's okay. All right, so this, let's put it right here it's not everything turns out the way that you would like especially if you're just starting you don't know it's not gonna look like fabulous the first very first time you do something at least not for me <clears throat> not for me that does not how it works all right so let me go up a little bit so there is our card with the pencils today so it didn't turn out too bad i kind of like it with the sketchy look i really like it with the gamma sol too but this gives it that little flowered i colored it with colored pencils look with all the little lines and stuff on there and the the white showing through i think that looks really really cool so we've got that on there. So don't forget that everything I use on this card, I put a link down in the description box. If you want any of that stuff, head over to one of the links and pick it up. Um, next week, we are going to do this one. This is Poppy and she's over at the store. So if you have not picked her up yet, um, this is a card kit. So you're gonna have to go grab her over there and there's only four left. So if you want to get her, head over and grab her up before she's all gone. Because when she's gone, she's gone. Remember, I'm not going to make more. <laughs> unless it's unless I have a bunch of people ask for it, then <laughs> I have to order more stamps and all that. So usually the answer is no. <laughs> so there it is. And this is a sentiment too. Or this, die, this is a die from Penny Black. So if you like that, you can... There's a link to that down in the description box. A little die. And it comes with another one. It comes with this and... Are there any other card in here? No. The other one I think says it's the little things. So there's this one and then one that says it's the little things on there that I used on um, 
this card kit. Not this card, obviously, but on this card kit, and it has, it's the little things. So, that was a different one. So, I hope you girls all had fun. If you have a question, um, leave me a comment down below. Um, don't forget, if you have a suggestion for something to do in the future, I will write it on my list. I had a, a request last week to do um, an ethnic skin tone, so I will try to come up with something and do that in a future one. Because I definitely need to practice that. I'm not, I always think my ethnic skin tones look terrible. So, but, you know, personal opinion. I'm sure they look fine. <laughs> but we'll try it. So leave that down below if you want to do that. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to that so that you get notified whenever I load a new video or um, I'm going to do a live stream so that you will know to come to class. So I hope you guys all have a fabulous week and thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.